Welcome back to Games Played Technically. I am your host, and today we're technically playing Satisfactory. And uh, today we're going to work, put a little more work into our into our factory here, right? So we've got a few things going. So what I'm going to do real quick is recap sort of where we're at. Well, we've got our two pure iron nodes here. And uh, over here we have two pure concrete nodes feeding in. We have an additional pure iron node. And then we also have our pure copper node. We also have our our power loop over here, right? So this is, excuse me, we have our power supply over here. Uh, it's still biomass burners, and we're actually going to check them real quick. But we are, we have automated producing uh, biofuel, so we don't have to worry about that part sitting on the screen for minutes, precious minutes at a time, as you watch me craft more biofuel. So we should have a decent amount now. Uh, at least, yeah, yeah, we have enough to keep us going for a minute. And so, on top of that, we've created what we've done is we've taken uh, our, one of our uh, iron nodes, our pure iron nodes, and we have begun processing it uh, into what's going to be our, our factory for this location, like our proper factory, right? So, we do have in addition the uh, right, we, we have these guys generating down there. That's kind of the sloppy mess factory over there, but we need resources to keep building, so we're just going to let it do that. Hey, it's that guy again. We're going to finish processing. So here I've staggered these uh, these smelters, right? So the second, uh, the second row of smelters is going to be, I believe it's going to be for the, yeah, probably for the next iron node. So this first stack... Or rather this first row and you know what what I'm thinking is should I process these separately or together or should I get all of this iron now I think that might be the way to go it uh, rather the way to do it is we get all of this iron now so I think what I can do is I can build a miner on that third node and we'll hook that up to uh, to our sloppy mess over here so that we're still getting uh, we're still getting iron plates. I believe that's what this one is doing or rods whatever it's doing We'll make sure that it keeps doing that and that way we can then free up that node to pull into the loop We've made here so that we can then send that to the staggered smelters uh, behind that first row So let's get started. And so the good news is we have ladders, right? Yes, we do No more falling to our deaths, I think uh, Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that Okay, uh, we might fall to our death here. Ah, look at that, we didn't. Okay, what have we got here? A mess. A mess, I guess. So we are, nope, we already have it. So let's just get rid of this, this cap here. I wonder why these caps are here. I, I don't understand their function mechanically entirely. It just seems odd. It seems odd to me. Maybe they had an earlier purpose, right? Because it's just like a like a discrete supply of ore to start you with. I'm not really sure. But what I'm going to do with it is dump it in here. Because we don't want ore in our pockets. Okay. And then I'm going to have to replace this smelter here. This is going to be... I really was hoping not to have to move a whole lot here, but I need enough room to maneuver here. And what I might do, actually, is just... I might just squeeze around this guy. Well, we're still going to remove this smelter, but we'll still have it enter here. Or we could even use a, a conveyor stack to... Uh, to feed it into here, that way this guy can kind of round the corner here, and uh, and then maybe just stack over this one. Because uh, what I want to do is I want to feed it back here. And actually, we could do that if our ladder wasn't in the way. We might move this ladder in that case. Move it over here. Uh, so this is a little difficult, right? Because we're having to we're having to build around our mess, and we need our mess because that's what's that's what's providing 
material for us, so having to make do. So before we hook this up, let's just see what kind of space we need. We're not too stressed about it because again, we're going to, I can't, oh no, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not going to do that guys. Uh, we aren't, um, we're, we're going to end up cleaning this up, right? Once, once we get all of the iron pulled into the loop, except probably this one, I think I might save this one for steel, but we'll need, uh, we'll need coal before we do that. And it might take us a minute. I think we're running a little slow, but hey, it takes as long as it takes. We'll just leave enough room for it to do that there. Kind of do like an S loop here. Clean as we can get it. Oof, this is the part where it gets tricky. We might want to, because of where this guy is. I'm wondering if we'll just run it along here. We might even just let this clip. Enough room for it. Come on. I'm wondering if I can just redo this. Because it's just a terrible mess. Doesn't fit another one. That one does, but I don't want it to. Okay, so, very good fall off. No. I'm in here, from here to here. <laughs> oh man, this is a tangled mess. Okay, let's see, we... Talking to this guy, the whole point is to get rid of can this guy connect over here? Can we find... Here we go. Because then that means we can disconnect this guy. Nothing bad happens. We are patching this. Oh boy. Actually, we need to patch this again because that won't fit. We want to build a, another platform on the side there. So let's do this. Who's making that noise? Focus. Okay, and then we can also get rid of this guy because he's not doing anything anymore. This is gonna be a little trickier. We might leave that one for now. Just because it's it's just plugged in a bunch of places. We'll just clip a little bit there. As long as we can get over here. And you know what? Yeah, I think we're going to just raise the floor up to here. that one yet okay so that we can round the corner to here now another thing we're going to have to do and pretty soon so we might still have some stuff that we haven't automated yet and actually that is a good point it may be worth it to before we finish ah oh, that's going to be a little bit difficult right so okay so let me explain the problem uh, all of our nodes are pure. These are Mark 1 belts. Mark 1 belts do not move or fast enough to keep up with uh, with these miners on, on pure nodes. What that means is that we have to upgrade all of these belts to Mark 2. So we're moving 120 and keeping up. It looks like I did that here. Great, perfect. The problem is is that this guy has to be upgraded all along this path up to this splitter here and the problem there is that we do not have we, we're not producing reinforced plates right and 
that sucks. Uh, because we would have to manually produce them, and you know, that's not what this, that's not what this game is about, guys. It's not about manually producing everything. It is about automating everything. Uh, let's see. Put it on the edge here. Ah, oh, that's that's not even clipping. That's perfect. <laughs> um, so we might have to manu uh manually create those reinforced plates, and I guess I'll fill that time with with more uh with more PC talk, as uh, as I will call it, PC radio for you guys, for those of you guys who who even care. <laughs> Yeah, cause this guy is producing, so this will actually fill up. However, what we need to do is get this guy. So, you know, I'm not going to bother with... I guess it's floating there. Uh, we're not going to bother with doing a conveyor lift. We're just going to do this. What's going on here? This guy's a splitter. That's why. So that's an out. That's why it's color-coded. Okay, there we go. And then one more thing we have to do. I love that. Clipping right through it. Uh, oh, this guy's producing? Oh, no. It just has it has some in its inventory. Uh, what we need to do... I suppose we'll just peel off it here. This is how we get this mess of power cables. Right? <laughs> it will be cleaned up eventually. I, I'm not super satisfied with the way we've done it, even even upstairs where we're building our proper factory, but we'll, we'll take a look at it. Okay, so these guys should be producing now. It looks like that's filled up. It's just I don't have these going anywhere. Uh, have I done my math wrong here? I mean, it's possible. Because... Right, 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 right. How am I supposed to fill up these guys here? We're going to have to check our math again. I should have written this down. It looks like last episode I was building... Uh, it's entirely possible I had another idea, but I am going to co-op that because it doesn't make sense. It could be I just made a mistake here. Oh man, that means I'm going to have to fill my pockets with ore. Not my favorite thing to do. Also, I just realized, no, actually, the reason I probably did this is because there's no room to split that stuff here. At least not easily, right? So I, what I can do is I can do a splitter here. Not not the cleanest job. Uh, I'm thinking that the best way would have been to have these on the farthest. So we'll keep that in mind. Right? If if the, the first uh, first row was actually on the farthest ends, right? They could fill those two up. Those two outer ones would get filled up. These two outer ones get filled up, and then I could fill the rest in the center, right? Uh, no big problem there. Unfortunately, I didn't do it that way. I'm not gonna spend the time cleaning it up because this is gonna be sealed away, right? The sorting is the, those are the crimes that we hide. We're still gonna do it as cleanly and as orderly as possible, but we're not gonna stress about it because once I seal this up, it's gonna be locked away behind some doors, right? We'll look at it maybe at some point, but not often. So let's, we're gonna to have to let that one go, guys. We're gonna to have to let it go. So let's see, we got these two here. It'll be fine, we'll, we'll make it work this way. Uh, let's see, and what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna put one guy here, and that's fine. And we're gonna have more. <laughs> more of these guys than we need. Let's see, do these, will these connect? I don't think so. Well, let's see, let's find out. Does that, does that work? We're gonna see, we're gonna find out. They look coupled, for sure. Now yeah, I'm seeing some coupling right there. Right along that seam. Quite coupled. Uh, and we'll see right now if it works. That doesn't look coupled. I'm seeing a big gap there. They left room for somebody. Do this. Do that. And here we go. And then what we do is we do another coupling. I really need to stop saying it that way. Coupled. 
All right. Now let's see if this is functional. Will it convey? Will it convey? All right, look at that. Successfully coupled. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Looks like we don't even need it over here. We do however need it here. We didn't need it. No, yeah, we did. Uh, let's see. We'll for sure need it here. So let's do... Let's get this guy. And maybe for symmetry we'll do this. Who's going to stop me? Right? Only I can stop me and, and I'm not gonna. I'm happy with this. I'm absolutely thrilled with this one thing. All right, looking good. Oh, not looking good. There we go. Now we're looking good. So. All of these should be getting fed. That'll get those smelters going. And we should actually check our consumption because we've added we've added one miner. And now those those smelters are gonna are gonna start doing their thing, smelting. And we're not sure we can support all that smell. Oh no, we're good. We are good. Okay, and these guys are still doing alright. Check these guys in a while. I think I filled these all up evenly. Looks like it. And actually, you know what? I don't think I have these guys powered. So that might be why they're not doing anything. So what I'm hoping I can do here... So again, I wasn't super happy with the power here. Mainly just because it's not... It's not lined up, I guess, the way I want it to. It's not exactly the way I want it to. Oh boy. Yeah, you see right here. So that's okay. What we can do... Put this guy here. Put this guy. Let's see where did we put it? Right here, I believe. Nope. It's got to be perfectly lined up for some reason, even though I'm never gonna look at it again. I mean, I might. Oh boy, we are out of cable. And that is one of the things that we are also, um, it's one of the number of things we haven't automated yet. So we're going to have to build a bit. At the build a bit workshop. Okay, let's build some cable. All right. Um, and now it's time. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot we had our to-do list. I should look at that. I should take a look at that. That's that's our to-do list for next week. Wow, talk about gaps in continuity there. Sorry guys, it's 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 my first day. It's my fourth day doing this. Doing doing the YouTube's thing. And uh, and I'm having I'm finding I'm having to improvise a lot. Because uh, you know, I mean that you know plans are guidelines, right? And and if it's a good plan, we'll stick to it, but don't account for a lot of things. I think my editing is getting better. And I've also changed the DPI on my mouse because I think I think I was swinging it around way too quickly. Part of it is just the way I gesture and I need to I need to <laughs> rein that in a bit. I'm gesturing way too much and I'm hoping I'm not making anybody dizzy. If I made you dizzy, I apologize sincerely. And we'll actually just do another one right here. Sure, right here. Just in case we need to go anywhere else with that. Oh, we need to connect these guys. Oh no, we weren't good. We thought we were good earlier and we weren't. Because we're not. We're not doing anything. Oh man. Tight fit, guys. Tight fit. Okay, now all of these guys are running. What's our max consumption? 
gone up a bit, but it's still very manageable. So these guys are locking up because we, they're probably full up. They're full up on, on iron ingots. I know that feel, guys. Actually, let's check, make sure I don't have any crap in our, we do have this. Let's drop that wood and those leaves. So we can keep producing. Wow, isn't nature just beautiful? Okay, focus. Let's stay focused on what we're doing here. I do want to get rid of this. Okay, so before we do the reinforced plates, uh, to to upgrade all of the all of the conveyors to Mark Twos. Uh, so let's let's take a look at how we're doing this here. So we left big gaps here, and actually I'm thinking this these guys are going to be on the outside. I think I explained in the third episode. It just looks ugly when there's like smoke clipping through the uh, through the ceiling. Right? I hate that. I don't like that. So as I explained in the previous episodes, the idea is we're going to have a floor that does something, then the next floor will sort the things. Apparently we went ahead and put constructors here, that's right. Uh, do we have any space for sorting though? Uh, or is the sorting going to happen? No, we were not going to build these constructors, this was part of some of the testing we were doing. And another thing that we have to keep in mind we 100% have to keep in mind is we can't do anything with this guy. This is our return. So this center, so that we'll we'll get rid of the flooring here later on. And actually, we might do that now. The point of this is that this is a return. So everything in the factory gets returned down to the bottom, which would be this floor right here. So this floor will be the base floor, and nothing can happen in that base floor because that is where we're putting our storage containers so that I can just walk through there and pick up whatever I need. And I think it will have to be, yeah, it's gonna have to be just one, one of these wide. I hope that doesn't end up being a problem. I hope I don't regret that later. But um, that's for future Adrian to stress about. Zoop. That will be our return shoot. Let's see, actually, let's see real quick what that would look like. All right, so let's say we're right here. It should fit. Probably get it even a little bit closer. Let's see. It clips a little bit, but what does that look like on this side? Can you see it? No. I might be able to live with that. We'll see, but the idea is, no, actually, it would be facing the other way, because what I would want to do is that they wouldn't go all the way to the floor. They would do this, though. Right, so there's clipping there, so who knows that that their platforms might clip into the wall there. We'll have to wait and see. And the idea is they would do that so that they move backwards and then they feed the the container from behind, right? So then uh, that way the conveyors are out of the way. Uh, and we'll see. We'll, we'll figure that out once we get to that point. No reason to get that far ahead. That means these guys can go, so it looks like I did... I was doing some testing there. So right here, actually, what we're looking at is going to be, this is our little sorting platform for, let's see, is this too close? Am I going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to catch smoke for that. Okay. That is in fact too close. That's okay though. I think we have enough room here to do our sorting. I say that, not entirely confident that we do. Um, uh, can we pre-sort? Well, we don't know yet what we're doing, right? Actually, yes we do. That's what our, that is what our to-do list is for. So it looks like we have enough material to do one constructor for screws three constructors for iron plate and two constructors for iron rods. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that. And I wish I could remember how to get into my to-do list. Ain't that just the way? Here we go. So apparently the only way I know how to do this. Okay. That's okay. Four iron rods. 
six constructors for iron plates, and two constructors for screws. So apparently we've changed that plan. That's okay. I think this makes sense. I was, I was super, I was really struggling with allergies uh, the last time, the last episode. So you know what? That guy was allergy brained, so we're not gonna trust him. We could, what we could also do is we could stack, right? Hmm. Because what this guy's actually going to do, right? So that what this guy would do is essentially... It would be like right here. I mean, in fact, actually, it could stay there. Because that's already centered. So it could stay there to that. This one would have to go over here. Right, so you know, let's let's take a different tack. Well, we don't know how tall it's gonna be yet. We got to take our measurements real quick. Uh, here's our ladder. Let's see. So shoot, we are running three quarters of the way through already. So let's see. We went with four. No, three. One, two, three, four. It is four. So let's do another four here, and what we can actually do is we can put it here. This, you know what? Do these sections, these sections don't need to be four. Four walls high, four stories high. Um, all right, because we're just sorting here. We, we obviously need space if we're going to stack which we could we don't have to stack all of them to full height but we could stack some of these let's see if we only went up two would that be a problem actually that guy wouldn't be there So this is the idea right here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what I can do. Can't do it that way. <laughs> okay, that's okay. We'll do it here. Although we're going to have to move that. Because then we would basically come out here. Right. right. So let me actually, we do have to get rid of this one. I'll have to figure out the ladder situation later. Yeah, and that one's going to split into four, so we're really going to have to go this way. Okay, let's figure this out real quick. Starting to see the limitations of this plan. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, six plus six plus four, right? That's ten. 
So we need 10, 10 tiles to do this. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think we're going to keep it this way. Yeah, because it, it's just the amount of time investment that I have to do for the... Uh, Just to put them on the conveyor stacks, I don't think is worth. I don't think that's worth our time, honestly. Well, that's the right height, and we can actually do this. So we have two, then we need eight. Whoop, there we go. And let's see, so we gotta check our time to see what we can finish here. And we do have a bit of time. We didn't get to our reinforced plates. We might still do that. So we can get our <laughs> our PC talk out of the way. And I can catch you guys up on what's going on with with this channel. This this brand new channel that I am trying to turn into a thing, you know? Create content. Make it interesting. Maybe people will tune in. Maybe they won't. But hey, if you're liking this, oh, that's a good omen. If you're liking this, and if you like that guy, hit the like button. Right? That's that's how you let us know. That's how you let the algorithm know. And if you really, really like it, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Do all that. And you'll get to you'll find out when the next episode drops. Okay, let's focus on let's focus on this. So let's see if this oh we're out of iron plates. Wow. That was bound to happen. So that's okay. Let's let's check our time again. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> yeah, just just jump jump all the way down. Ah, uh, we can't do that without iron plates. Okay. One of the things I wanted to do was right upgrade upgrade these belts. I need reinforced plates for that. I don't think I need a whole bunch of them. So, you know, I think that's what we're going to do right now. And then on the next episode, we'll continue working on those on the conveyors on the the conveyor sorting we have going on over there. So let's grab not iron rods, but iron plates. And I think we have enough screws, but let's grab another batch of screws. Forget how much, I think they cost a pretty decent number of screws. Let's craft a crafting bench for crafting. Here we are, crafting. So we are going to, we're going to craft a few of these. Um, we'll go through until I feel like it's the right amount, because we're gonna need some spare for the constructors anyway. But uh, in the meantime, I can update you guys on on what's going on. Um, go go for the more more relevant, more important part first. So, uh, what is this channel? This is this is a channel where we where we record playing games. Right now, we're recording Satisfactory. We might record other things. Uh, one I really do want to do, even though I I don't know how popular it is, is uh, Space Engineers. Probably like. Creative mode is what I'm thinking. Um, those might see less editing, or, or they, m we'll see. I, I've got to develop this idea a little bit more. Uh, we might look at a few other things. Uh, it, it just depends. I, I have a few ideas in mind already, but I don't want to share any other ones, just just in case I don't do them. Right? Don't want to give you guys the impression that I'm going to do something and then I don't do it. You know, and, and I am working on kind of improving this, uh, editing faster, but also editing better. Um, I think editing is, is worth it. Um, you know, I, there are a lot of channels that don't, and they do great. They do really awesome work. But I think what's going to set mine apart is is editing. Um, you know, and I enjoy it. It's It takes a really long time. 
Um, we're looking at 10 hours maybe, maybe a little bit more. On the first video for sure was more. Uh, but I, I'm improving, getting faster at it, and hopefully I'm able to do more with it as opposed to just the really basic stuff. Uh, you know, and, and it's not gonna get, you know, I don't want it to get out of hand in the sense that I don't want it to get, I don't want it to be the primary focus, right? It's just me editing stuff. Uh, or, or, or edited content necessarily, right? That the game that we play is still kind of the primary thing, but the editing is fun, and I want to do that. All right, I think we're probably good. Oh, maybe not. Let's see how far this gets us first. That'll give us an idea of how much more we need. Right now, it's not looking too bad. I mean, that's kind of it, isn't it? So that must be it. Must be it. Okay, in that case, let's take let's take a look again where we're at. You know, I I'm doing all of this work like inside of the factory. I am wondering what it's gonna look like when I'm I finally just step further away from it, kind of take it all in. Is it gonna look good? I wonder if I, I can do this. Because I don't, I don't know. Can I hop off of here if I need to? Not easily. No, that's that's definitely not going to work. So I'll have to create another ladder to get up to there. That's fine. And another cool thing about building these towers is that I heard them, but I don't see them anywhere. is that the lurking ticks out there can't they can't get up here as far as I know okay here is what we're doing so we're gonna spend the last few minutes just let's see how much of this we can shore up
I'm not sure if this was the most space efficient way I could have done it. I really need to be careful walking backwards. I'm going to fall off. And that is going to hurt. Well, I think I'd probably die. But at least I'm not falling off the cliff. I do have to maybe put a little more thought into making more space efficient. Um, uh, space efficient conveyor shorts. Because, because why not? Uh, because it might be an issue, right? Uh, right now we're dealing with still kind of a relatively limited number of resources, but we'll have to see. Each each one will be custom built for the purpose, which, you know, better to standardize than to do that. But for now, this is how we're going to go. I think this is a pretty good place to stop off. Um, I know we haven't hit any milestones in, in a little while, and I think it was three episodes now. Three or two or three episodes now, but uh, we'll, we'll see about that. We, we kind of, I kind of want to get these bones laid out first before we, before we start looking at that again. And I think this is looking good. We're, we're making good progress. We have this side for anything else, for copper, for steel, for concrete. We still don't have concrete um, cleaned up. It's still that sloppy mess over there. But I think I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing all right. I think uh, maybe next time we'll see if we can get construction for uh, for this steel setup. I kind of want to get this all the way to. Uh, to their final products, right? I, I do also have to at some point figure out, okay, if I need to send steel plate down here, iron uh, screws, sorry, if I need to send steel plate, if I need to send iron plates, iron rods, or screws, I need to figure out how I'm going to send some of it down here while still sending some further up so that I can use in, in downstream uh, construction. So, That'll be a problem we solve a little bit later, even later than that. I, I might just have to account. I might need to have some kind of buffer, buffer containers maybe, or, or you know some temporary stuff just to make sure that we can keep producing, uh, producing materials so we can keep building. But we'll leave it at that, and I'll see you guys next time.